solution is pretty obvious. Just scrape the barnacles off, right? Here in Washington, D.C., we just add another barnacle on it. It's an imperfect barnacle. just slows it down even further. So, unfortunately, the federal government doesn't solve too many problems. It exacerbates many, causes many. And so we ought to first do no harm. And that, that's really the point of that uh, last comment. If you feel that, why don't you quit? Because I care about this country. Now, I, I wasn't going to run for a third term. Uh, one of the reasons I did is nobody was advocating for the vaccine injured. Very few people were acknowledging what a miserable failure our response to COVID was. And so that, that was one of the main reasons. But again, I love this country. I think uh, we are in peril right now. I think if you had to design a strategy to destroy this country, you'd be hard pressed to come up with a better game plan than what Biden is implementing, the open borders, massive deficit spending resulting in 40-year high inflation, a war on fossil fuels, the, again, the embarrassing and dangerous surrender in Afghanistan, which emboldened our enemies, people like Putin. Uh, they're on the move because they, they sense weakness. So, listen, I love this country. If, if I can help it in any way, shape, or form by, by just being straightforward and honest. There are many people like me here in Washington, D.C. that just you know, basically say what I believe is the truth and do it without really concern about political career or certainly not being reelected. Two things. One, then work on the border issue. I know you voted against the Senate bill. Uh, I, you know, I can debate that with you. I understand that you wanted a better bill, but there was a reason that the Border Patrol Union wanted something rather than nothing. You're never going to pass comprehensive anything. At least it was something. But if you're not going to vote for that bill, why aren't you actively working on something to help fix the border now? If you love the country so much, it's arguably America's most well, popular problem. As Chairman of Homeland Security, I held more than 30 hearings on it. I actually developed something with Kirsten Sinema called Operation Safe Return. DHS took that. That morphed into Remain in Mexico, a very successful program to mm -hmm. secure the border. So I, I try to bring that expertise to bear. The problem with the, the McConnell bill, I'll call it, because he's the one that... Uh, uh, was the mastermind of this thing. It, it was worse than doing nothing. It actually decreased a presidential authority. Uh, and, the, and the Supreme Court has said that existing law exudes deference to the executive branch. It's true. President Trump had the authority. It's been weakened some, by some court decisions, but even that weakened authority he used to secure the border. Uh, President Biden used that exact same authority to open it up. So he has the authority to do it. What we asked for in those negotiations is a forcing mechanism, something to force President Biden to secure the border, to use that authority, because he wants an open border. His, his Democrat colleagues, they want an open border. But, it's hard to explain why when it's such a clear and right. present danger. But again, we weren't looking for an immigration bill. We were looking for a forcing mechanism I, to force President Biden to secure the I border. I got it. I got it. I got it. But I, I think that's uh, I, I think that's a canard uh, that doesn't work in legislation. The it's bill, not. the way it was, would have shut down the border. Um, I no, don't think have. that he had to. Well, it was in the language of the bill that so, it would so, be an so, emergency. No, so, stoppage. So, so let me explain. Let, 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 let me explain. First of all, it basically codified a lot of the open border policies. It would have normalized thousands of immigrants a day. The nastiest part about that bill is not the, the 5,000 threshold that made it mandatory to stop processing uh, asylum claims. It was the 4,000 discretionary threshold. That implied, and it would have been used in the courts later on, that the president doesn't have the authority. Trump had it. So Why would you, you take it away by codifying? And then even worse, even worse, that discretionary authority would only last three years. So that bill was worse than doing I hear nothing. You on the if three you years. want to secure the border, I, no. you are you are weak. You I hear are you on the three the years. Authority. That's why we had to vote against I, it. I hear that, I hear you on the problem. three years. First of all, you had ten Republican senators working on it. A dozen House members were in consult, so it wasn't like it was just McConnell. But if anybody it would be just Langford, and even he had a cadre around him. But it is better than nothing. That's why the border patrol guys wanted no, it. Not. Of course, it was imperfect. Well, it's it's be, it's better it's better than it's better than ten thousand a day, but thousands yeah, right. a day is it's not better accepted. than how it is. It's now. simply not. A, but it's, it's, it's better it's, than how it well, is again, now. The pre, the president are, President Biden already has the authority to secure the border to bring it down to hundreds. I rather agree. Than thousands. He's just not willing to do it. I agree. Good. I agree. But agree two things that. can be true at once. He should do an executive order. No, but again, maybe but he again, loses. That, maybe he loses. Pass, because, because passing the bill would have weakened the president's authority. That the president who actually wanted to secure the border, it was worse than doing nothing. The border patrol didn't understand that. I like mm. Brad and Judd. I understand these guys are drowning. They would have gone to any port in a storm. So anything that could bring it down from ten thousand a day, 
They weren't thinking long term that this was actually going to hamper a serious president's ability to secure the border. I have to think that way. Just a quick, yeah, not a yes, no, but just give me a short answer on this. Are you open to working on something to secure the border between now and the end of the, end of the election? Absolutely. Before this process even began, the secret negotiations, I said we'd be doing President Biden a huge political favor if we force him to secure the border. That bill just didn't do it. All right. It wasn't secret. There were 10 Republican senators involved. But it's good to hear on the record was, that you no, would do was, something about secret. the border. It, trust me, we had, we had no idea what McConnell had up his sleeve. Murphy said McConnell wrote that bill. It was his debacle. We had no idea until the very thing came out, and it killed itself in All less right. than 24 hours. McConnell what matters most, it, that's how bad it was. What matters most is that you're not saying you want to do nothing from now until the election. And that's what was supposed, and I wanted you I on the record. The border. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.